when it comes to these, you know, assistants, are there any risks associated with them? What caveats are there that executives or developers team should be aware of? I think there's a great tendency to trust the machine. And uh, it'll be, oh, the AI has written it, must be good. Uh, and I think uh, what you'll have to do is have a really, initially have a really close eye, not even initially, but probably as a program, have a really close eye on your defect rates, um, on on just like what's, what's getting through. Um, so your code review process will have to get really, really good. You may want to automate some of that. You may want to have rigorous test cases, but I think... Uh, while you will be able to produce some code faster, the amount of inspection you will have to do definitely has to increase in lockstep with it. Uh, the other thing is you have to be very careful as to what the actual terms of service of the code you're using, the code code assistant you're using are. You know, are, if if they are using your code repositories for training or your commands for training, is that acceptable to you? Uh, and you have to really know that. Uh, if there is a risk of leakage, um, uh, I, I know that sometimes when there's autocomplete uh, in, in, some, in some code assistance, uh, you actually see commands that were that, that have command like variable names that are like from other companies sometimes, right? Like you know there is cross-pollination going on. So uh, you have to be really careful to, to, to know, you know, do you trust this? Is there a record of um, you know, performance in this area? Uh, of good isolation in this area, um, and uh, uh, you know what what sort of uh, uh, what what sort of training data are they using? The other thing that can be that can that can happen is even within a company, sometimes you have confidential projects, right? Uh, especially for a, a for a very like uh, early stage product or a product that's yet to be launched. Um, and so if you have a coding assistant that is training on your entire repository and these repositories are not properly sectioned off, they could actually be leakage from one repo to the other, you know, unintentional. So, so even though it may not get out of your company, even within the company, there may be some, some way that there is, there's some contamination. So you then have to be very, very careful in how you are either sectioning these things off or limiting access or like have good guardrails around the, the controls that, that run these systems. Um, so so again, you, you can never just adopt it en masse. You know, it, it takes a lot of thinking to actually figure this out. 